Hey there makers, I'm Bree from the team here at Minerva. In today's video, I've got some project inspiration around sewing up some garments for special occasions. It is wedding season, so I have some patterns and some fabrics perfect for sewing up some special occasion wear. Whether your invite is for a traditional cathedral wedding or a casual backyard barbecue, making your own wedding guest attire is so fun. It means that you get to really tailor your garment to fit and function exactly how you'd like. Plus you get to throw out a cheeky, thanks I made it, to everyone who asks where you got your outfit from, and that is always the best feeling. So today I'm sharing seven patterns and seven fabrics perfect for sewing up and wearing for a wedding or other special occasion this season. All the patterns and fabrics will be linked below. Definitely give them a little checkout, a little peek. Each one of our product pages includes reviews, photos, hacks, and tips from other sewists all over the world. And if you're looking for more inspiration, you can use hashtags on our website like hashtag wedding guest dress, hashtag bridesmaid, or hashtag special occasion wear right here on Minerva. So I'm starting off with some traditional dress inspiration. The pattern I've picked is really customizable, so there's lots of options. I'm thinking if you are headed to a venue where you maybe need your shoulders or your legs covered, the Cashmere Upton Dress and Expansion Pack has loads of options for creating a huge array of beautiful dresses. I always say like if you can only have one dress pattern in your whole collection, it should be this one. There's so much variation and depending on your fabric, you can make anything from casual day dresses to full on ball gowns. There are two skirt shapes, a gourd and a pleated, and they come in three different lengths and you can pair them with either that dress bodice or if you just wanna make a skirt, it also comes with a waistband. The fitted bodice has three neckline options and you can also choose if you want bust and waist to be shaped with darts or with princess seams. Then there's all the sleeve options. There's short, long, ties, flutters, and all of these features mix and match really perfectly together. The Upton dress and expansion comes in Cashmere's full sizing. So that is US zero to 32 split into two size ranges. So the zero to 16 package covers hips 35 to 46 inches. It's built for a relatively straighter figure through the waist and the hips. The 12 to 32 range covers hips 42 to 62 inches and it's drafted with a lot more curve in mind as well as a slightly higher waist. Both bands include three cup sizes for an FBA free construction. I always love that. The Upton is rated advanced beginner in terms of difficulty. It has really thorough instructions to help you through sewing the lining as well as an invisible zip. And when it comes to fabrics, pretty much any woven fabric is going to work. Just keep in mind that it will have a very different look. Uh, viscose, tensile, and silk will have like breezy, softer effects and fabrics with more body like cotton or linen or even brocade will have a lot more structure to these features. So I was thinking for a traditional wedding to go for some drama on the bottom with the pleated full length skirt. And then for the bodice, I really love that princess seam paired with the V-neck option. It is very classic glamour to me. And then either go with the elbow or bracelet length sleeve, keeping things sleek and simple. So for this, I have picked our Minerva Core Range woven stretch cotton sateen. This is the navy colorway. It is a really gorgeous midnight navy. It's very dramatic. So it is 97% cotton and 3% elastane. It is a thicker medium weight fabric with a lot of structure. And I think that structure is going to hold those pleats really nicely. It's gonna give the skirt a lot of volume. I also really love that the fabric has a little bit of stretch in it. It's not enough that you would need to treat it differently or sew it up differently. It's just gonna make the dress a little bit more comfortable to wear throughout the day. So I think that extra little bit of give can be really nice if you're at a longer event, if you're sitting and standing, eating, dancing, all of that. You just wanna make sure that your lining fabric and your waistband interfacing also have that little stretch. I'm really all about finding ways to look super sharp, but still feel comfortable. And I think this fabric paired with the Cashmere Upton dress will make for a really beautifully dramatic look that also feels great to wear. Up next, I have a modern take on the classic wrap dress. 
I absolutely love the Closet Core LED dress. It is such a chic design. The LED is an A-line wrap dress with a waistband that can tie either at the front or at the back. The bodice features a triplet of short pleats under the bust. And the main feature, of course, are the really cool cut-on sleeves. I love the short sleeves mixed with the optional patch pockets for an everyday look. But for a more formal occasion, I think the longer drapier elbow length sleeves paired with the longer skirt is so beautiful. The printed LED pattern comes in sizes US 0 to 20, so that's a 33 inch hip to a 48 inch hip. The LED is an improver pattern, so the main construction is pretty straightforward and the instructions really hold your hand through beautiful finishing details, but it is best to have a couple of garments under your belt before jumping into this one. The difficulty is also going to depend on your fabric choice. So cotton and linen will be pretty straightforward to sew, but a slippery fabric like viscose, crepe, tensile will probably need a bit more patience. So speaking of fabrics, the LED can be made in a really wide range of light to medium weight wovens. Again, the rule of thumb here is that those more structured fabrics like cotton and linen will have kind of a more architectural effect, giving some volume to that A-line skirt. And those grown on sleeves are definitely gonna stand out a bit more. Drapier fabrics like viscose, tensile, crepe, and silk will have a softer, flowier effect. So I was thinking for this one, I would go for some versatility. I'm thinking the longer glamorous sleeve paired with the midi length skirt, and it'll be really gorgeous made up in this fabric. So this is the Minerva Core range Prada Satin Crepe. It's one of my favorite fabrics. It is 100% polyester and is especially suited for occasion garments because it has an anti-click, anti-static coating, which I really, really love. I hate static cling. It is double-sided, so you can see this nice shiny satin side as well as this softer matte crepe side. Now it's a medium weight, which again is great for occasion wear. It has a really good amount of body, but it's also very drapey, which I think that mix right there is what's gonna be really gorgeous for that A-line skirt and for those floaty sleeves. Now you could go for this like silky side if you really wanted to lean into like really fancy vibes, especially with the full length version would be gorgeous. But again, I'm kind of thinking for versatility, you use this matte crepe side. It would be still so gorgeous, like in that midi length version. You could wear like a long necklace, some heels, even some statement earrings to really dress it up. But you could also dress it down for like everyday wear or brunch with like some flats or sandals. And I think it would still be really, really pretty. So yeah, I'm really excited about the idea of doing this satin back crepe as the closet core LED dress. Next, I have the chalk and notch Farrah blouse and dress. I wanted to make sure that I had a shift dress option in this roundup and I'm really in love with this take on that style. I love these modern style lines and all the pretty details. The fair comes with two options and you can make them up as either a blouse or a dress length. Both views have a front and back yoke, an armhole gusset, and this really beautiful stepped mitered hem. View A has these unique flutter sleeves that cover the shoulder and then they tuck down into the side near the waist. It kind of creates this lovely effect that draws the eye to the curve of the waist. View B is sleeveless and it features an optional curved ruffle that is sewn into the yoke above the bust line. So Farrah comes in sizes US 0 to 30, so that is hips 35 to 59 inches. It also comes with two bust options, so they're separate pattern pieces with a full bust adjustment already included. This is an intermediate pattern and it's really a satisfying sew. The design elements in this pattern definitely qualify for that intermediate rating. You've got yokes that are sewn the burrito method, you have the split mitered hems, but I have to say that the instructions are really, really good. They break everything down into bite-sized pieces. The illustrations and the diagrams are really clear. So I actually made a Farah really early on in my sewing journey and it definitely like stepped up my game. So if you're an adventurous beginner and you're willing to take your time through the instructions, this is a great skill builder pattern. 
So fara can be made up in most lightweight wovens. More bodied fabrics like cotton and linen will emphasize those design features and more fluid fabrics like viscose, tensile, and silk will make for a softer, flowier fara. For the fara dress, I have another long-standing favorite fabric of mine. So this is the Atelier Brunette Peony Eco Vero Viscose Chalet. So this colorway is called Divine Parma, and I am so obsessed with this floral abstract print. I just love the colors in it, this like dark petrol, the navy, there's like rust, but also some neutrals in there on this like mauve lavender base. It's 100% viscose and it has a really like steady hand for a viscose chalet. Like if you haven't worked with viscose before because of, you know, the slipperiness in the reputation, this would be a really great one to start with. It still has plenty of drape. It's really, really gorgeous, but it's just less likely that your pins are going to fall out while you're stitching it up. Now for a wedding ready Farah. I would wanna go with view A with that shoulder frill. It would be so gorgeous in this fabric. I really like that the body of that pattern kind of serves as like a canvas to showcase a large scale print like this, but then you have the fluttery sleeves as this like delicate interest. I think it's such a great balance there. Now this pattern or this fabric is printed. So the print is just on the one side. The pattern features instructions to line that sleeve frill, which I would definitely take advantage of with this print so that you can see the gorgeous print like at every angle of that waterfall frill. I just think it would be so, so pretty pairing this fabric with the Farrah dress. It would be such a cool and modern dress for a special occasion. This next style may seem a little unconventional, but I have been seeing so much maker inspiration using the Zadie jumpsuit pattern as special occasion wear. I'm really in love with this idea. So the paper theory Zadie has achieved like cult status here in the sewing community. It is a best-selling pattern that is super versatile. It's chic and modern and sewists really gravitate toward this pattern because it is beauty and comfort all wrapped together and it even has pockets. Zadie is a wrap style wide leg jumpsuit with pleats at the waist for shaping, deep slash pockets and a nice wide tie belt. So option A has a longer sleeve with a dropped shoulder and option B is a short grown on sleeve. The printed Zadie comes in sizes US, sorry, UK 6 to 28, which is for hips 34 to 57 and a half inches. It is a beginner pattern and is especially great as a first jumpsuit pattern. The construction is very straightforward and the looser style also means it is a bit simpler to fit. You can use a wide variety of fabrics for the Zadie. Anything light to medium weight and that is a woven is gonna work nicely. Linen and cotton are kind of the like classic Zadie looks, but fabrics like viscose, tensile, and silk work well also. And I think for a glam version of the Zadie, a drapey fabric like that will be really, really pretty. So for my glam version of the Zadie jumpsuit, I have gone with the Meat Milk Tensile Jacquard Crepe. This is 100% tensile. It is so light and floaty, and this aqua color is gorgeous. What makes it really special though is the weave. So it has this really simple, sweet little diamond design woven into it. Now, I love a textured fabric, but I especially love tensile jacquards. They work so well because of the like sheen that tensile usually has, including this one. But then when you add that texture into the weave, it like breaks up that sheen and it reflects and catches the light really, really beautifully. I think it's also like a really fun mix of like the fun and character that you would get from a print, but because it is a solid, it's still very like sleek and cool for formal wear. I think it would make such a, such a gorgeous Zadie jumpsuit. So mostly I've been sticking to classic shapes since we are talking about wedding guest slash special occasion attire. I love classic pieces and timeless silhouettes, but I had to kind of shake things up a little bit and bring in some trending styles that I am loving at the moment. So if you have been watching the runway or the red carpet this season, you will have seen that ruffles 
are everywhere right now and that square necklines are definitely here to stay. So the Rivalin Ruffle Dress by Islo Sews is a great way to incorporate both of these trends, either as formal wear like we are discussing today or more casual everyday wear. So looking at the base dress without any of the ruffles or tiers, we have a slim knee length gathered skirt with a waistband. The sleeveless bodice is formed by three panels that tuck into the waistband. The two outer ones have gathering like under the bust for shaping. And then there's two heights for that middle panel. So you can kind of decide like how much coverage you would like. I'm thinking I like the higher piece, leaving off the ruffle option. It kind of makes for a modern like cocktail style dress that would be very chic for a more traditional occasion. But there's also lots of room to play with those ruffle accents and with the tiers. So you could tuck the short uh, ruffles into the shoulder seam here, or you can align the panels of the bodice going all the way up around the neckline. I think that's a, like a really kind of high fashion nod to like vintage styles like with that high neck ruffle and then of course you have the two ruffle tiers that you can add so either for a midi or maxi length dress i think the pattern is really versatile and i like how you can play with those like chic simple lines or you can lean into some complexity depending on your fabric you could go for like a really high fashion runway look or you could keep it really chill with like a cottage core vibe so many possibilities. I'm really loving this design. So Rivalin comes in UK sizes, six to 34. So that's a 34 to 63 and a half inch hip. It also comes with two bust options, which is really great for fitting those close panels at the bust. The Rivalin has a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of options to keep track of. So it's definitely an intermediate pattern. It also has a side zip and a bodice lining. So you'll wanna kind of watch out for that. Rivalin is designed for lightweight wovens, so cotton, linen, viscose, crepe, and tensile are gonna work really well. So I'm thinking I would wanna go the like modern cocktail vibe for this Rivalin. So I like that shorter length with the neckline and shoulder ruffles. So for this one, I have a gorgeous viscose crepe from Atelier Brunette. So this is 100% viscose and it has a really great like understated crepe texture to it. It is really, really soft. It's super flowy. Now this is the cobalt blue, but it comes in over 15 colors. I really love this one. So cobalt is cropping up like more and more in the trends this season. But I think this one is extra special because it kind of has like some purpley gray undertones to it. I think it is really pretty and is gonna look really great on a wide variety of skin tones. Now it is slightly sheer. So the Rivalin bodice is already lined and I'd probably go ahead and just use the same fabric as a self lining, but then I'd go for like a traditional lining fabric in the skirt to give it just like that much more volume. But yeah, I'm loving this cobalt blue as a super like trend forward cocktail version of the Rivalin dress. Next up, I have the Taika dress from Named Clothing. I adore this dress. I think it is so, so pretty. I like that it leans into the cottage core trend, but the overall style is very classic, a little bit vintage. So it is a button front V-neck dress. It is loosely fitted and just kind of like skims over the body. There is a high curved waist seam that runs under the bust at the front. And then there's little gathers at the bust and at the center back to give some volume and shape to the bodice. The skirt features gourd panels that shape like that A-line of the skirt. So I love these style lines. I think they are so, so pretty, but my favorite detail has to be the little puff sleeve. So it is smooth at the shoulder, but then it comes into some elastic right above the edge, which creates a little ruffle right here. And I think it is so, so sweet. So the Taika dress comes in UK sizes four to 28. So that's a 33 to 56 and a half inch hip. This is an intermediate pattern, mostly because that button placket is a separate piece. So that can be like a little hard to maneuver. The higher waist isn't necessarily more difficult to sew, but since it's kind of a unique feature, 
the uh, rating reflects that. It's also made for drapier wovens like cotton lawn, visco, chalet, uh, tensile, and those definitely have a reputation of being like a little bit slippery and needing a little bit more patience to sew up. So I love that ditzy floral of the pattern sample, but I'm thinking for a more special occasion, I'd want something a little bit more modern. So I picked another Atelier Brunette fabric. This is the Viscose Chalet in the print called Barrel, and this is the blush colorway. So the print has these really, really cute um, like little clusters of, there's pink and ochre, some petrol in there, and they really kind of look like little color palettes, like it looks like little painter's strokes in there. I think it is really, really cool. It's very, very beautiful. These colors work so nicely together and there's so many cool like opportunities to pair some beautiful accessories here. It's 100% viscose. It has really lovely drape and fluidity. I think it would look so great in those panels of the skirt. It would be such a beautiful Taika dress. So I thought I would shake it up a little bit for my last pattern and go for a coordinating set. So this is the paper cut Estella and it comes with an option to make it as a dress, but I love the idea of splitting the bodice and the skirt into a really cute reversible set. So both the top and the skirt have lots of possibilities. The ruffled skirt comes in two lengths and you can either wear it low on the hip or high up on the waistline. The top features a cropped wrapped bodice with puff sleeves. So you can either wear it with the crossover at the front or tied around the, at the back. So you've got the skirt and dress variations, but I think it's the reversibility of the top, the fact that you can just whip it around for different occasions, give this a lot of wearability. So Estella is available in two size bands. So one through eight is roughly UK six to 20. So that's hips 32 to 49 inches. The curve range is sizes six to 14, which translates to UK 16 to 34. So that is hips 45 to 63 inches. And that one is drafted for a fuller bust as well. So these shapes and lines are really clean and simple, but the Estella is an intermediate pattern. So like the skirt portion is definitely beginner friendly, but the techniques involved in making that bodice reversible is definitely for sewists with a little bit more experience. Now, in terms of fabric, you'll want to look for light to midweight wovens. Um, so cotton, linen, silk, viscose, and tensile are going to be great options. So again, wanting to shake it up just a little bit, I have gone for a linen for this set. Now, I know linen is not the first fabric you think of for a special occasion, but I think it can be so gorgeous and so lush, and I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be considered for a wedding or other event. I'm really thinking of like summer outdoor weddings. I think it would be so, so perfect. So I have picked my all time favorite linen fabric. This is the Enzyme Washed 100% Linen from the Minerva Core range. I love this linen so much, you guys. It is so smooth. The colors are so vibrant. This is the teal colorway, but it comes in over 20 colors. It's a really nice like mid-weight linen, but because it has been enzyme washed, it is still really drapey. Like it'll hold its shape, but it's not gonna be stiff or rough like another mid-weight linen could be. So it is really, really smooth. It's really soft on the skin. And again, this color like is so gorgeous. And I think it would be so perfect for like an outdoor wedding or a summer event. Yeah, I think it would be so good sewn up as the paper cut Estella set. So those are my picks for sewing up some special occasion attire this season. Again, whether you are attending a formal wedding or an outdoor gala, or maybe just getting dolled up for a fancy brunch, I hope you are feeling inspired to stitch up some beautiful occasion wear. So don't forget to check out all of the links below. Our product pages not only have the item details, but also gorgeous inspiration from other makers. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us here at Minerva. We have new videos coming your way every day and we'd love to see you around soon. Until then, happy making, bye.